everybody welcome to Georgie B's Cards and Stuff today I'd like to show you how I made this card I got the idea from this card for this card from uh, YouTube it was a Gina K design well she used Gina K stuff and I liked it and I thought oh how can I make that into a Stampin' Up card and this is what I've come up with I used many messages and I have got loads of them here in fact I used the exact same sentiment in a card before this and I used positive, positive thoughts and I used that flower and painted poppies and I used them leaves and this flower, it's the nearest thing I had to a bud well she had a bud and she had some leaves and she had a, I think her flower's a little bit bigger but that's beside the point I used that one and that's what I come up with so now I have cut out the leaves and the bud, I haven't coloured them in but I've cut, stamped them and cut them out so we just need to stamp and cut out the flower. I do have another sentiment, the same one. It's got a stray bit of embossing powder on it. I have got a card base. Back to my normal card bases here. Of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. Scored at four and one eighth. Folded in half. Let's move that. I have two pieces of white one at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the inside and one at three and three quarters by five and a half and that will go over a piece of basic black at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths I have gutted the basic black and cut out an oval and that's the largest oval and then I cut out the next size down in white and that will go on there like that these are actually retiring these ovals but I will still use mine because why not I've got them I do have other ovals that aren't stamping up but yes yeah, so to get started we will do that. Oh, and I need a scrap of white for the flower. Let's stamp that first. This one I'm going to do in Magenta Madness. Do it a bit brighter. Uh, stamp that, turn the, in my case, the card round, and stamp it again, make it a bit fuller. Need a cleaning cloth. Clean my stamp. Why not? Put it away. And we'll fussy cut that out. So we'll do that. We'll colour the rest in in a minute. First, we're going to do our background. Um, to do this, you'll need your scoreboard. Got mine here. And you need to put that in your scoreboard. And you need to score it at every quarter of an inch, all the way down. So you do quarter, ooh, jumped off half, three quarters, an inch, like that, all the way across your card. Did that jump then? I 
I'm doing this. Oh, you can see it. The last one. So then, you can't see in this light. But that's it scored every quarter of an inch. Bring in some scrap. Now with your grey ink pad, this is Smoky Slate. Make sure it's locked up. And what we're going to do is just drag the ink pad over the paper. Turn it around and do it again. And just drag it over the paper. You are going to get shadows and... Well, that's a better way of doing it. But you just keep going until you're quite happy with what you've got. Try not to bend it, like me. And I'm going to do... Another one there. And that's it. That's all I do. Get rid of that. And that is our background done. Once you place your card and flower, it just looks different. Something different. So, let's glue this this onto our black mat. Oops. Did I glue it? No. I thought we glued the where the hole was then. And then we'll place this on our card front one side. Now I want to glue the white oval onto the black oval. Making sure you've got a even border all the way around and I haven't. I think it'd be easy doing this, wouldn't you? Trying to get an even border. Oh, there we are. Right, pop that to one side. Pop my glue, lid on my glue. Right, I'm going to cut the flower out. The easiest way to cut this out is to go around it in a circle. I have got the die for this, but because I've twisted it and put the colours, you know, round, the die won't fit it. So, all I'm doing is following it all the way around and getting my peaks, moving the flower and not my scissors. She says and moves the scissors.
chopped petal off. And then we have our flower, which I think will look quite nice on there. Right, we'll bring these back in because we've got to colour these. And what I'm going to do is I coloured the leaves in soft sea fern. Dark. And my bud I actually did it oh I'll do. So I did the this one, I did it in Rococo Rose, and of course I've used Magenta Madness. I don't have the pen for Gement, uh, Magenta Madness. Majestic Magenta. Magenta. Um, but I've got lovely lipstick which is quite close. Right. So with my um, Soft Sea Foam? No. Yeah. Soft Sea Foam. Just colour in. All the leaves. In fact, let's use the other end. four of these to cut in. One of them we're going to, or oh no, two of them we're going to cut up so I actually only need to colour the top petals. So let's just colour them in. One, two, three, and this one. Right, all these will get chopped up. Because I only need the top flowers, uh, leaves. And then with lovely lipstick, we will colour in just the bottom, roughly, bottom of the petals. That's it. And I used a granny apple green light to do the bottom of the flower and the stem. That is our colouring done for that. And all we have to do is arrange how we're going to have these. This one that I've fully covered will go down there and then these two, three, snip them off. Let's put you in first. Oh, snip half of that off. I want that hanging over the top and it will have a leaf on. Like that. And 
and that will have a loop there and we'll have a leaf hanging out there and of course our sentiment will go there doesn't that look pretty so let's get gluing these down glue this one first I'm just going to glue she says me glue thing is nearly empty and I think it's blocked right that I'm going to place there all right This I'm going to place just there, and then this flower leaf, I keep calling flowers, by the side of it, I'm making sure I cover them up. going to put dimensionals on the back of this a oh, couple of big ones Just pop that like that on there, and this I just glue flat. Added a small mini dimensional to the back of this flower. Put two on there. That's it. And this goes here with dimensional. And uh, a spot of glue there. So there, and now we just need some gems. Um, I am going to make some coloured gems. What I'm going to do, oh no, I don't need to, there's some there. No, they're purple. I don't want purple. I'm going to get my dark, lovely lipstick and I'm just going to colour in three pearls. And I'm going to pop them three pearls on here. So I'm going to put one here, one down there, and one up there in a triangle. Uh, 
Så er vi her. I hope you like it. In fact, I think I prefer it in this colour. Than this colour. I don't know. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload. Which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting. And I hope to see you again soon.